Dang, dude. Okay, that was nasty. Yo, what is up, my dudes? Welcome to the video. Today, we have a new one from our favorite cheater. I'm just kind of kidding right there. But we are reacting to Serpent AU, who just uploaded a video that says, Proof I can edit fast without macros. For those who do not know, Serpent was a YouTuber who blew up because of his fast editing. And then it came out that the fast editing might not have been so fast and that he was actually using macros to basically speed up his edit timing. And so he took like four months off from uploading YouTube, came back and his edits were fast again. And this video that he uploaded today proves how he's actually able to hit his new fast editing speed. So we're going to react to it. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, whether or not he's actually able to do these edits, whether or not I think he might still be macroing, he might still be aim botting, which was also what he was accused of, although I don't think that was legit after I researched it a little bit more. But I don't know, man. I'm in a glass case of emotion, dude. I like his videos, but once he was accused of macroing, it kind of tilted me. I'm not going to lie, so I'm excited to watch this. Give you my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you guys enjoy this content, drop a like on it. Hit that sub if you guys are new, and let's get into the video and figure out what's going on here, man. Many people have been making videos trying to expose me for macros, and I just want to disprove these claims, show that I'm legit, and show you guys my hand cam. Alright, so first, um, people are calling me out for moving right while editing, since I edit with my, um, what the fuck is this finger called? This one. <laughs> Whatever this finger is called, I edit with this one, right? And I press G with that, and, uh, obviously you can't really press D with that, and, um, I want to show you guys how I did it, how I edit, and how I play. So, um, my initial response to this was just to mess around with the kids, so I just fully ran right while editing, and um, in the second clip, I have full WASD movement with mouse control while editing fast. So, um, I want to show you guys how I did this, and um, actually, first of all, I'm going to show my task manager. I raise a synapse, no macros here, mouse, nothing, keyboard, nothing, it's just on the default profile, task manager, uh, I'm just gonna end these just this, in case. This always proves nothing though, like, so let's go through you everything. could just have a program running that's a cheat that, things. like, is just titled as something else in your task manager. It doesn't really, like, prove or disprove anything. Whether or not he's macroing or, or cheating or not, this, like, to, this to me is kind of, okay, like, a pointless forward, exercise. No, no. Now I'm gonna explain how I edit, so basically, this is what we all I came for, dudes. My edit key on G and my select key on J and I have edit on release on J. So this is a method I found out the day edit on release came out and I DM'd Raid about it and we talked about it and I kept it a secret for a few months but eventually someone made a video on it so if you guys want me to make my own tutorial let me know in the comments but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it now. Alright so I press G and then J and it edits so what? I can just I press WASD and I press G and J like this. Okay, so, so you I'm must just do it for clips. Slow to fast, which is, you know, you can't macro going slow to fast. G, J, G, J. Oh, whoops. Add to the floor. Okay, so I can see that that's not a macro, but he obviously can't play like that, dude. What? So some of you guys might be wondering, how would I use my mouse if I have both my hands on my keyboard? So what I actually did for this was I changed my move left to left click and my move right to right click. And I moved my mouse to my the left side of my keyboard, and I could press left click to move left, right click to move right. And no, I don't actually use this. I only did it once to piss kids off. But okay, so he just does I'm it for sure clips. I did this as well. That kind of makes sense because you never actually see him editing like this when he's fighting somebody. He just does it like Friends kind on of a single tile. Mouse, but uh, basically, that's how I did it. So that will explain how I move my mouse while editing and how I have full WASD movement. Also, I know not all of you guys will be satisfied with this video, so I'm going to be streaming on Twitch with a hand cam, so you guys can tell me to close applications, go through applications, you know, whatever you guys want me to do in the chat, I will do it. Okay, so drop okay. me a follow on Twitch at SerpentAU, and I'll see you guys in the stream. That's a pretty legit Anyways, way to clear you guys see some gameplay of me with a hand cam. Okay, so his editing speed is mad quick without using the GJ binds, but you can definitely see, like, he's got some crazy tempo just with, like, regular editing. I don't know. It honestly... I I'd be liable to believe him, dude. With his hand cam... Dude, look at his fingers. Look at his... <laughs> okay, so that's how he's getting those clips in a fight. 
His fingers are moving like mad, dude. Dude, looks like he has alien figures, bro. What in the world? <laughs> That's crack, dude. Oh. That's a nice play. Bro, he's got some mad stretch on his fingers, man. Whew. His flicks are still nuts. He must have like a pretty high mouse sense. Oh man, those flick shots are nuts. It makes sense I was able to set him up. Yeah, I guess he just has memorized how much of a flick he needs to make on his mouse pad in order to like do a full 180. So he just basically presets up a, a 180 and then I basically just hits it is the idea there. Just like that, you know? And I'm sure he misses a lot of attempts at going for that. If he was actually using an aimbot for that, he'd be like, you know, he wouldn't be hitting a hundred body shot. He'd be hitting like 220 headshot, you know? You're not gonna program an aimbot that doesn't give you good aim, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, that is nasty, though. That is nasty. I wish kind of going for crazy, like, spin shots was easier on controller. In order to do it, you need to be on, like, such a high sensitivity. It's not even, like, usable. Hey, GG's. Also, I want to talk about the aimbot accusations. There's so many questions I have. I put no aimbot at the start of my video. You know, I thought it was common sense, but I did anyways. And people actually commented, Oh, but you said that about macros. And people actually think I aimbot. Like, macros are completely different. It's like third party. It's external. Completely out of Fortnite. It's mainly used for like... It's used in like Excel spreadsheet by like some old people in offices. But like... On the other hand, we have aimbot, which is so different. Like it's actually, like it's actually game hacking. It it reads the game's memory, finds where the player is, moves your crosshair to it. Like it's so different. And why would my flicks not be 100% accurate? Okay, so he basically goes on for like another two minutes just talking about aimbot and how he's not doing it. I personally think after watching the hand cam video, I don't think he's aimbotting, and I honestly don't think he's using macros anymore. Basically. Serpent in the past he admitted to using macros, but he's since changed that really weird G and J bind But if you actually watch the clips it shows that he's just hitting them both at the same time for clip purposes I'm sure he's not actually playing like when he's playing battle royale in Fortnite I'm sure he's not using that as for the aimbot if you actually watch his clips when he's doing it You can basically see him set up as he goes into the box So just watch this example right here. We're gonna go like quarter speed the way he gets into the box and sets up you can see him and pull his hand over into the perfect position for him to make the flick shot. So right here, you can see he's pulled his hand to the side, and then he does a quick swipe uh, to do a full 180. And he basically, I'm sure, has on his mouse pad memorized how far, like using muscle memory, how far he actually has to sweep to hit those shots. Which is exactly what he does right there. He does a 360, does one sweep, and his brain has essentially learned, okay, if I have my mouse at this point, and I swipe to this point, it's going to be a 360 rotation every single time. And honestly, for that reason, I think he actually might be legit now. He did macro in the past. He did own up for it. He's back on the on the uploads again. But he did take a long break from uploading Fortnite. He took, basically, he uploaded five months ago. Then he got exposed for cheating, like, at this point right here. And then he took a break and then came back, like, a month ago and actually had the same editing speed as before. But I think it's because he figured out if he used this JNG binds, he could hit that, like, macro editing speed again but he would have to sacrifice his ability to basically like move around properly and so he basically just does the like macro editing now just for like getting clips for videos but i would love to know what you guys think because i'm still slightly hesitant i know he admitted to macroing in the past and it makes me like a little bit like I'm a little bit edgy on whether or not I should really fully believe him and trust Serpent. But he's back on the upload grind. His videos are pretty lit. I'm not going to lie. But I would love to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys think that 
Serpent is macroing or aimbotting. I honestly think he's not doing either anymore, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Let me know. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop a like on it, and you can hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Thank you guys very much for watching, and have yourself a great day.